Hey everybody, welcome back to the preserves. In today's video, over a few of the rides I have in my collection, and let's get into these other rides, and I'll show them to you, then we'll put them up on the kit, and we'll let you see how they sound, and whatnot. So the first ride I'm gonna show you is this big old 24AA Sabian metal ride this ride is amazing it's one of my favorite rides i only purchased this one about a year ago approximately uh the next ride i'm going to show you is a cut k custom hybrid 20 inch and this ride is also amazing that's why it stayed in my collection the next one is this Zildjian A Ping Ride 20 inch. This one I've had for quite some time. It's, it's an amazing ride. I'll keep that one in my collection for a very long time. Probably won't ever sell any of these rides. And this was one of my first rides that I ever had. I bought a symbol pack that had this. I still have the whole symbol pack. Uh, this was the symbol pack that I bought, I still have the whole symbol pack. I have not sold it for the reason being that it was my first pack of symbols that I ever got. So let's get these symbols up on the kit and we'll give you a, a ride test and comparison so you can see what they sound like. We're going to start out with this Sabian B8 Pro. We're going to throw her up on the let's just uh go over a couple of sounds on this ride and i'll show you what the b8 sounds like so as you can tell it, it doesn't sound horrible So when you are riding on this, it, it does tend to start to uh, get a harmonic vibration within itself. And that's one of the reasons why I've taken this kit uh, off of my kit. So. So that's the, that's the Sabian. Now we're gonna throw on this Zildjian Avita's Ping Ride. It's a 20 inch as well. And here's how this one sounds. You can tell, you can hear that ping in this one. It's it's not as flat, it's got a nice bright sound to it. Really cuts through. So you can really lay into this symbol. It's a really good symbol. That's why I've kept it in my line. It's it's a great sounding ride and it just it cuts through the mix and it, it just has all the characteristics that I like in a ride. So that is the ping ride. Now we are going with the K Custom Hybrid. This is also a 20, 20 inch. Get her up on there. 
This has always been one of my favorite rides since I've owned it. I've owned this ride for probably, I don't know, seven years or so. But it's a great ride. Oh, yeah. It just got that. It's got not a nice full body sound. It, it, something about that brilliant hammered portion to lathe. It's just amazing. I just love this ride. That bell just cuts right through. It's super nice. You can ride this. And that there is the K Custom Hybrid Ride. I'll get yourself one. Now, up to the big old bad mama jamma, the Sabian AA Metal Ride. And this one is massive and heavy. It barely clears. It barely clears up in here. I like to choke this ride. That's just how I do it. And it sounds great. Well, let's get into it. Oh, yeah. Listen to that sucker. It is an amazing ride. Now, As you can tell, that ride really cuts through. The bell is super bright, sharp, very nice symbol. And let me go around the kit. We'll get these symbols back up. We'll go over the patterns on, on how they've made these symbols, and I'll get right back with you. All right, so we're back around the other side of the kit here, and what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna go over you, go over with you the build construction of these rides and show you the the differences let's get into that the first one i'm going to pull up is i'm going to pull up this k custom hybrid so as you can see the outside of this is lathe and then the inside all the way to the bell is brilliant but it's got tiny tiny hammer marks all the way around this thing and it really projects that sound out to this lathe part and the bell really cuts through it's really super nice sounds good in most applications you can use this ride from jazz all the way up i mean it it depends on how good of a drummer you are you can make anything sound good but this symbol is good for a lot of different music styles. And that's why I like that symbol. Now this ping ride that I've got here next, this is just a traditional style lathe on it. This symbol is old, 
This symbol is from the 80s. I did buy this used and I've had this symbol for quite some time. It's been in my collection for a really long time and I've kept this symbol because I really like it. Nice small lathing all the way out and that really carries the sound vibration all the way to the edge. Makes this symbol sound really nice. And this symbol can be used in a variety of music styles as well. And that's why I like this one. You can use this from country all the way up to metal if you want. And like I said, if you're a great drummer, you can make anything sound really good. And I'm not a great drummer, but I do like gear and I have a lot of it. So now, this B8 Pro. This is made out of B8, and that's hence B8 bronze. So, but they did a different style of lathing. As you can see, they went like fine and then uh, like every so often they do a deeper groove on that and then they polished it up real nice but and then towards the outside it's really 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 thin lathing but the further you go in the deeper those lathes get and then on the outside it's really really smooth lathing and then it's got a nice like smooth laid but it's almost brilliant at the end and that you know this symbol doesn't sound bad for a very cheap symbol. It's made out of B8 bronze, so, but it doesn't sound bad for a beginner. If you're a beginner, then, you know, that's going to be a great symbol line to get. I don't even know. The older ones, in my opinion, they sound better for some reason. The older B8 pros sound better than the newer line that they have now. Now, this AA... Sabian AA metal ride. I'm gonna show you up close what's what's going on. You can totally tell the deeper lathing on this symbol and it's further spread out until you get to the back and then they start doing these or till you get to, towards the outside. Then they start doing more and more of that thin lathing all the way out and then they stop doing the deep grooves about right here on the symbol and they still do a wide groove but it's not as deep and then it goes out to a really really fine lathing on the outside and then it is polished except for the bell and with that bell not being polished it makes a really nice sound and when I first heard this symbol I fell in love with it and this was many 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 years ago and ever since then I wanted to get me one of these but they're super hard to come by uh, anymore they're hard to find so uh, when I seen this one pop up and I seen this one on eBay and I couldn't believe what the guy was selling it for I got this symbol for a hundred and fifty bucks if you can believe that it does have one small one small crack right in here on the bell. You can see that. But that ain't going to go anywhere, I swear. You would really, really, really have to be laying into this symbol like big time to have that crack go anywhere. The crack is so small that it's it, it's it doesn't affect anything on the symbol at all. And so that's why I purchased this symbol. Not only was it a great deal, 150 bucks for a uh, 24 inch symbol is, is unheard of really, uh, but I love the sound of it. And I, it, that'll be in my symbol vault and on my kit. I'll play that on my kit right now until, you know, I feel like switching it up. If you like this video, go ahead and leave me a like and comment on which of these rides you like the most. That is going to be the end of today's episode and peace.